the challenge that uh, that companies are faced with today, at least in the FMCG category, is the homegrown brands. I mean, I don't think you see yourself necessarily as a not Indian brand operating in India, sure. uh, neither do your competitors. But, you know, Patanjali has clearly taken the Swadeshi mantle and is driving the Swadeshi crusade uh, into your turf and territory. How do you see that playing out and do you believe that consumers care today? Okay. So here's my uh, input for you on this, uh, Syrian. I've handled about 50 brands in my life, yeah. okay? When I look at it, consumers are not worried whether the brand comes from Britain or America or somewhere else, okay? Unless, of course, you give them the authenticity of that country. Suppose you say your champagne and you bottle it in India, they'll say, you, know, it, you can't do it technically. Yeah. Yeah. They'll say, okay, it's French. Are you giving me a slice of French life? Mm. Or French, uh, you know, uh, aspiration or whatever it is. Otherwise, consumers just don't know. For example, most people thought Nokia was an Indian brand. Mm. Most people would think that Rin is an Indian brand. Yeah. Most people might think that Every Day from Nestle is an Indian brand. Yeah. I think as long as a brand meets the promise mm. and continues to exceed on the promise it makes to the consumer, mm. consumers will buy it. Mm. Consumers are not journalists like you or you know <laughs> executives like me who log on to see which country is this. They don't bother about such things. Huh. Okay, they just want a brand which is wholesome, which delivers on its promise, they go and buy. Hmm. I believe the Swadeshi and you know, MNC debate is not a debate worth, at least in the consumer's mind. Uh, in the manner in which you engage with consumers, uh, you know, starting conversations online and so on and so forth, how has that also changed the way that Pepsi actually spends its money? I mean, you know, IPL and so on and so forth. Are there now lessons to be learnt in, in, in how you spend, especially on these large format occasions? Oh yes, uh, we've spent a lot of uh, money in the digital format. For example, we ran a very successful back-to-school campaign. Uh, we ran some very rich advertising and content, uh, I wouldn't say advertising, but content around Diwali. I believe the millennial consumer today is much more attracted to content. Okay, and in the past we've always tried to fit content, advertising, brand all in one mm -hmm. line. Today the consumer is so savvy saying, yeah, I pick this, yeah, I think that's a nice story you've told me, it's a good content, I move on. They're, they're not looking for absolutely replicable or consistency in content. Something's happening somewhere, I need to know about it, you've given it to me in a fun and enjoyable manner, let me take it. That's how people are looking at content. Okay, and I think PepsiCo has generated a lot of content in that direction. Mm. What is that, then what is the brand challenge that it poses to somebody like you? Yeah, I think the biggest brand challenge, not just for us, but all brand owners is, I think one, having a strategy for the brand, and second, not getting seduced by tactics or strategy. Mm. I think a number of people can confuse doing 365 different things. Well, 365 different things to do is fantastic, mm. but all of them must, in a way, be in line with your strategy. Yeah. So I think the biggest danger for people is to confuse a bunch of tactics for strategy. And that's what I see in the digital world right mm. now. When I look at some of the work which some beauty brands have done, I would say I would never do that. Mm. Because it's a tactic finally. Mm. Okay? And tactics can never replace strategy. Mm. Okay, I think that's a big challenge for all brand owners. So let me end by asking you, what is the India strategy then today? I would say the India strategy is, in our book, uh, to be the nutritious partner to the Indian society and government, to enable farmers uh, to virtually double their you know, incomes, as enunciated by the Prime Minister. Uh, since we are a large agri-based uh, you know, company, I think that is our commitment to the you know, country. Well, Shiv, uh, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you very much for articulating to us very clearly what Pepsi is doing to woo Generation uh, M as well as keep them within the company, company also. Yes. But thanks very much Thank for you. sharing those wonderful insights with us. It's been an absolute pleasure. Well, on that note, it is time for us to wrap up this CNBC TV 18 special from the Pepsi headquarters in the national capital region. From all of us here, goodbye. Many thanks for watching.